Alright, hello, hello everybody and welcome to a very, very special video here on the channel. Today I bring you the world record for all the six million missions in Hitman Season 1 in Sound Assassin. This is something I've been working on for a long time now and I'm really happy with the results. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. Uh, so starting off we have the first main mission, the Soul Stop was set in Paris. We're going to be starting at the... I don't remember the starting location of it, uh, I think it's the AV Center, whatever, so we're going to be starting as a tech crew and what we're going to do, well, once well, the loading ends, of course, by the way, this is supposed to commentary, so I recorded the run before, loading commentary now, so what I did was I skipped the cutscene straight away and uh, blew up the fireworks straight away so that Victor stops there and doesn't open the door, so I get to take a clear shot at him and his body will just go and found there, at least uh, not until I exit the mission, so nobody found him until I exit the mission. Uh, so right now I'm going to ma be making my way down the stairs uh, into the helicopter exit, uh, which is also from where I'm going to be killing my second target, Dali Margolis. So uh, the, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot right there, that's going to be Shrek's guard, so the Napoleon is going to make the guard that is up there on the balcony with Dahlia come downstairs, therefore allowing me to kill Dahlia uh, without uh, killing the guard too, so therefore allowing me to get some assassin. Uh, something that I'm going to be doing about the ring run is I won't uh, stay for too long in the rating screen, like only for a slight second so that you can see that I got sound assassin, but I won't wait for the full four, five stars to pop up because you can see that before they all pop up, so I won't waste much time there on the loading screen. Uh, so now on to Sapienza, uh, we're going to be starting at the, as a mansion guard. I believe this threat, this Caruso kill I'm using was found by FTGFW, but I'm not completely sure of it, so I'm sorry if I'm doing the credit wrong, but what matters is I didn't find it, uh, but it's great and I'm using it, so thanks a lot to FTGFW, which I think is a fine. So what I do right there is we kill Dahlia by electrocuting her, then right here, when Cruz is getting to the lawn mower, we shoot right there, we shoot in a leg, he gets gonna get him close enough so that we can blow that shit up and kill him. It actually took me a few shots to get it, but it worked. I really like the strategy since it allows you to just get like both targets killed in under 30 seconds, which is really useful and it is pretty consistent too, so... Yeah, that's one of the one of the positive sides of it, we can say it. But yes, right now I'm gonna be heading downstairs in order to kill the virus. Well, not kill the virus, destroy the virus, <laughs> more like that. Uh, I'm gonna be using the phone, which is something you can do in this game, is you can place the phone on the ground in the place it on the ground and the explosion will just uh, happen below the ground and that's what happens right here uh, the, with the phone I dropped the stalactite on the virus. So yeah that's it for Sapienza, it's a pretty simple but pretty cool and pretty fast strategy, I really like using this one. I've actually used this one on my previous uh, full game speedrun and I'll probably keep using it because it's, it's just too good not to use it. But yes right now we're gonna go on to Marrakesh not a really cool strategy. Uh, so with this one we start the consulate parking garage and we are gonna smuggle there the rubber duck too, the luck duck, <laughs> we could call it that. So right here in the beginning of the run there is a really cool trick we're gonna be using which is if you aim at the wall and then you drop something that's gonna drop into the wall so by dropping the Napoleon there, that's gonna make our target Strandberg come from where he is to down there all by himself. So therefore allowing us to set a booby trap for him, which is going to be this, uh, I don't remember what it's called, this propane flask that I just picked up. And I'm gonna leave it right here, so that when he comes through the door, he's pretty much gonna blow his ass up. Alright, so now on, we're gonna be picking up this crowbar, which is really important for the mission by the way. So we're gonna go ahead now and head to the military complex where Zidane is right now. So we're gonna use the duck to blow up that bike there on my right. And that's gonna make those guards get away from the door. Well, not the door, like the way in. <laughs> this is not exactly a door, but it's gonna make him get away, therefore allowing me to get inside without getting spotted. So right here I'm gonna start paying some attention to the map so that I can time uh, Strandberg's skill right. So right here I use the breaching charge to uh, open the door. I need to shoot it instead of using the detonator because if I detonate it then I will detonate both breaching charges therefore uh, killing Strangberg 2 which should be ready to die right now. 
Yep. There it goes. Next up, raise a Zaydan. Right now we're just gonna kill Seidan with a kill that is actually kinda consistent, but only kind of, because it depends on whether the guard just comes straight away after him or he, sometimes the guard even comes first, but what I what happens pretty much generally on this one is uh, I will shoot right there for our distraction. And usually uh, Zaydan will calm down the stairs, but uh, what happened here was it just stopped there, but I managed to actually kill him and then uh, knock out the guard fast enough before he turned around, so it worked. Uh, that kill is a bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie. It's sometimes, uh, it's, it can be a bit hard to get sometimes, but yeah, I managed to get it, thankfully. Therefore, I also just, right there, I just grabbed the keys so that I can actually exit via the truck here, saving me a lot of time. Um, because this is much faster than just, well, exiting the complex and going to the gates or something. So, this way, I can exit like much faster and I don't risk the bodies getting found anytime soon. So, yeah. So, now I, right here, I kind of screwed up because I was gonna start more cash again. Then I remembered, oh wait, I already played that one. So, now on to Bangkok. So, we're just gonna start in the as uh, the sound crew, I think that's the name of the disguise. I don't really remember all these names, sorry, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos with commentaries, so yeah. So what we do right here is we skip the cutscene straight away. I'll give you the short We're gonna kill Jordan in a pretty cool way, I pretty much m many people have been killing him that way since the map came out, I don't remember exactly who found it. I'm sorry, but yeah, this kill is not anything new really, just come right here and just shoot him right in the head, once he pops up a little bit right there. And that crime noticed, I get it pretty much because the glass was shot, not because he died. Because if you shoot the glass, you will always pretty much get a crime noticed, when, no matter where he dies or not. But uh, people notice the glass being shot, but they don't notice him dying. On this case, because on this case, it even sometimes like that kill can get noticed, making it a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes because in the shot, well, it's also pretty hard shots actually, so it's not that it's definitely not an easy kill. But it works and with some practice you'll get it. So right here uh, I'm gonna wait so I'm gonna be shooting that uh, lamp uh, on top of Ken Morgan so that uh, he dies from reaction kill. So yeah, another Both pretty cool and down. pretty quick okay, strategy. Uh, I really like this one too, so yeah. Now after this one uh, we're gonna have Colorado, which was a strategy that made me take a week to get this done because I always failed on that one and I had to like overlook it many many times but I'm really happy with the final result for that one because I think I actually managed to make it relatively consistent. So yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if the strategy is any new or anything but I just I don't remember actually seeing anyone do this before so I'm not sure if I found some of this stuff or not but at least I don't remember seeing it. So I start right here and I'm gonna go ahead straight away and grab this propane flask. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it to kill Maya Parvati. Now there's a few tricks right here that I'm gonna have to explain. One thing is that those guards uh, at the door of the barn, they usually don't give a crap if I do this. Like they're gonna be, hey, don't get in there. But if I break the line of sight quickly enough, then they will not spot me and they'll just they'll not give a fuck about the fact that I'm trespassing. Uh, so right now I'm gonna grab that Forex Sinister and now right here for the real skill, instead of doing the usual Forex Sinister Slash Bridging Charts combo, what I do first is I blow up the duck for Maya and then then I'll drop the bridging charge and kill him. The reason why I'll do that is because Maya she is walking away from the propane flask as I blow it up so if I take too long killing her then I won't be able to kill her so I need to get her killed as fast as possible so for that reason I'll, I'll, I'll just blow her up before I blow Son, Son Rose. I think that's his name. <laughs> Whatever so uh, right now I get in this door to avoid the guard that is coming down the stairs I'm gonna make my way up, stop in the middle of the stairs and I'm gonna shoot the candelier on Penelope Graves. Now, this candelier kill, holy fuck, it has to be timed at like, I don't know, if you like shoot alpha second later or earlier, you will not get the kill, so it has to be like exactly in the, in the precise moment, otherwise you just won't get it. Uh, so just grab the mask, killed Ezra pretty simply, I don't think I need to say that much about that one. So right now I'm just gonna get this door open and make my way down to the exit.
Just getting the shelter and do the usual stuff that everybody has to do. So but Hitman 2 you can actually use every single exit for the mission after you complete it once, I think, but on this one you're not allowed to do that yet. So, yeah, we'll just have to go for that one. And right now, so now we're on to the final mission, Hokkaido. Uh, this is a really simple strategy that I think people have been using this one on the mission since day one. I honestly didn't put much thought into this one because it's the last mission and I just wanted it to be consistent so that I will not fail on the last mission, so... That it's pretty Eric simple, Sodas. so just let the cut in a little Former bit to avoid the enforcer. Then just run it back at Soders. Blow it up. Let's even go and drop a booting shard. So actually, I don't, I don't think I need to explain this run. It's pretty self explanatory, so I'll just take the time to uh, thank every player that has helped me in my journey as a Hitman speedrunner and everyone that helped me become a better player and everyone that you know, uh, made a little contribution to these routes because this, I, I was the one, I, I mean, I was the one that was grinding for this, but I mean, like, this speedrun is not 100% mine, there was a lot of players that helped with their ideas and with their creativity and without, they, they never those ideas, this run will never exist and I will not have gotten this done, so I just want to thank every single player in the Hitman community that, you know, is out there playing every day and coming up with awesome stuff every day so yeah so this this run is for all of them like this run happened thanks to all of them so thanks a lot and well thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it